Hello and welcome back to Raywood Acres in our workbench here where we've got a nether mesh, Laura mesh communications video for you. Kind of an update on where we're at with our outdoor solar node. So initially, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link for the playlist here on some of my other mesh videos. Uh, was using this T-beam. I'm actually lucky I didn't potentially damage that because I was trying to charge it via solar. And it is my understanding off of other YouTubers that that is not, you know, information I've gleaned from other YouTubers that does not have a solar, like a charge control uh, circuit in it. You can get one to add to it. So therefore that explains why it was dying, even though I was putting um, larger batteries and stuff on it. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm fortunate I didn't do any damage but that was never the intent for this setup i had a rack one whiz block on order um these are better for that type of setup for one they do have the solar input a solar input right here which is your you know uh, and it has a charge control circuit in it so it's better adapted for a solar node uh, so this is a block or a box enclosure that I built my, or not built myself, but ordered off of Amazon Put links below, of course, if you're interested, um, and just made this little aluminum shelf in here with some nylon offsets, uh, and then have some nylon screws to screw that down. But I got to pull it out cause I actually have the wrong style battery. Not, the battery works fine. It's the connector. So I have one of the, the right one here that's going to connect into the battery, connection right there solar and this side this is the right size for the solar but not the right size for the i think it's a j2 or js2 something like that either way we'll have this put together uh and up and running back on my portable solar tripod setup that i'm using for testing and once we've kind of perfected what we want here uh and find the best location on our property give us the most range into town uh, we'll go ahead and find some you know permanent way to mount that um, this setup of course like i said has this cheap old uh, default antennas that come off the t-beams just for protection this will be connected to the outdoor antenna one thing i would note if you're considering building an outdoor node uh, a lot of people uh, are trying to find the most weatherproof enclosures, which is you want them weatherproof, right, of some nature. Uh, but waterproof is a little more difficult once you start popping holes and things, right? Um, so there's always a, a path for water intrusion. That's something we want to prevent. Um, but if we take this and put it because you have a longer coaxial cable off your out door antenna so that might be something you consider when you order them because a lot of times they 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 come with set lengths or there's different lengths you can choose and we'll talk more in detail antennas in a future video because i have some new ones that i would like to share with you um you could mount this underneath say in the eve of your house or an outbuilding or something like that to where it is not getting direct exposure to rain snow sleet whatever some sort of moisture uh it still need to be fairly moisture proof right because electronics and moisture don't mix but that should get you started if you're if you've got a whiz block and you're going man i haven't figured out how to program this yet i'm going to link a video for the comms channels video on programming because i was messing around and was having some issues getting mine programmed or the firmware updated and then and then connected to my phone so i could go in and add it to my channel that i have set up for here and you know adjust the settings and all that other stuff that i wanted to adjust um he has a great video on that so that's linked here in the video as mentioned my mesh communications playlist will also be linked here in the video if you have questions about what i've done so far and you haven't found it on those videos or just want to throw it in the comments down below feel free to do so uh, the our mission here is to continue to test and make perfect our systems uh, and then eventually have our outdoor node permanently installed, have a, a vehicle node in each one of our vehicles, and then have personal ones like these T-beams like this for each family member and potentially 
some additional friends. So that's how we're building and expanding our mesh network right now here at Ravenwood Acres. If you're doing something similar, please let me know what you're doing down below. Maybe we can collaborate, especially if you live in Washington. If not, best of luck to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out at theravenwoodacres.com. Our other social media links down below. Like, subscribe, and have a great day.